Hi everyone! Hi. Welcome back and happy new yes, year. Yes, we've delayed happy new year. <laughs> Sorry, we're already nearly the end of January. Yeah, but we haven't said happy new year to no. you. So happy new year. Welcome back to Ali Ali and Nesh Nesh Edits. Edits. <laughs> I'm Ali and I'm Nesh and this is our first video for 2020. Can you tell? <laughs> we <laughs> just spoke a bit rusty. <laughs> and this week's video is um, top tips, top tips and trends. Yeah, from, from experts that we know and yeah. have had, you know, worked with. Um, and they're sort of top tips for 2020. 2020. So, what's so What's our top tip? My top tip is, um, I suppose, just stepping out of your step out of your comfort zone. Try things that maybe you haven't tried before. So, for me, this year, I really want to try and shop in charity shops. I know. <laughs> I'm quite excited about this. And I'm a big believer in uh, shopping your wardrobe and yeah. wearing and working. We what need you to have. do a charity shop. I love charity shops. Yeah. You do, and I, I've, I've yeah. eBay. See, I don't, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, I find nothing more exciting than finding something on yeah. eBay. So that's <laughs> going to be my top tip: is to try and yeah, wear it and work it. Shop your wardrobe, but also try and shop more. Find a gem that no one else is going to have. Yeah. <laughs> and my top tip: um, I'm going to go with hair. You know, having gone for the chop again yeah. this year or last year, sorry. Um, if you've always, and lots of people message me and go, oh, I've really thought about it, I'm not sure, whatever. Um, and I think just go for it. If it's in your mind that you think, oh, I might like it, oh, just do it. For years, I'd be like, just take a little bit off to people, just trim, just trim, just trim. And then when I just decided to go shorter, I was like, actually, it doesn't matter. I'll go a bit shorter, it'll grow in four weeks. It doesn't matter, like, it's yeah. hair, it grows. And it really suits you, so. Thank you. You were right to do that, because yeah. it's. Thanks. I'm never having like, it on again. But I feel like you've changed as well since you've had, not in a way, yeah. like, but I feel like your, your confidence. I just, feel like I found a style where yeah. I didn't have a style before. And it then yeah. just sort of feeds into your whole... Yeah, your whole look, your style. Yeah, and owning it. Owning your look, yeah. yeah. So first of all, yeah. um, top beauty, sort of a makeup tip makeup from tip. Bryony Blake. Now, if you don't love know who Bryony. she is or if you don't follow her on Instagram, definitely do because I love her feed. She's so fab. And I love her makeup tips. Um, she's a well-known uh, makeup um, expert on ITV's This Morning. Yeah, she was on This Morning. This, on morning, this morning we actually sat and watched you, Bryony. <laughs> <laughs> One of her tips was to always carry three <laughs> lip products so in so in, in your bag, yeah. um, one is a lip balm. So she loves. You like, always need a lip balm. I actually hate not having a lip balm. Yeah, the worst thing. Um, her favorite is a Bobbi Brown, a bright lip. Yeah, and a nude lip so that you are ready for any occasion. So yes, that's a brilliant Good top tip. tip. Try and do a hydrating or brightening mask at least once a week. It yeah. keeps your skin looking fresh and nourished. Yeah, I totally agree. It gives you that sort of dewy, glassy-like finish to your skin, yeah. which then your makeup will sit better and look nicer. Yeah. And Good you know, just get all tips. The, yeah, so love those Thank top you, tips Bryony. from Bryony. Now, Mother Shoppers. Ah, oh, another fab duo. Fab duo, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we are fans of the duos. Uh, we are. <laughs> Mother Shoppers are stylists and um, they style the loose women yeah. on ITV. And they also um, do other sort they of styling projects. Like that, that, but their... uh, they are known for the loose mm. women. It's just Gemma and Bert are so cool. Mother Shoppers. Yeah. Their top tips for 2020 is to buy less and buy better. Good Good tip. Be less dependent on trends. So yeah, I love that. Yeah, I don't go for it if it doesn't suit you because not everything suits no. everybody, does it? There's no. a few that I've thought, oh, I love that look on people, but it now doesn't look right on me. Just, I need to accept that. Yeah, it's just enjoy, right enjoy seeing it on someone yeah. else. Don't There's other things that look better on me. Yeah, exactly. That won't suit that person. And the second tip is worry less about what people it's they, um, <laughs> think, think and wear things that you love every day. Yes. Yeah, that's something that it. fits you well, that you love, that you feel good in. That suits you. That suits yeah. you. So, fantastic tips Great from tips. Mother Shoppers. So, Edda, um, travel counsellor, if you have a look on her Instagram page, you'll sort of see. Yeah, she's helped out lots of people, hasn't she? Lots yeah. of influencers. Influencers, she's put together sort of packaged holidays for them to do. So she's saying, 2020 people are seeking 
more from their holidays, not yeah. just two weeks on a beach. So tailor made itinerary with unique sort of experiences. So yeah, people go on things like cooking holidays yeah. or, you know, going on different types of holidays to experience different things, you know, like eco trips at yes. different things. And Edda can help because she tailor makes. Well, they know. She then. knows, yeah. They're the experts. So they can put together an itinerary. And I think that's um, sort of Edda's saying that there's now more people coming A back, to, back to travel, travel agents. agents. Yes. Day. Another top tip actually that she said oh, sustainability well. mm. is huge and travellers are more conscious about the environment. So consider taking reusable straws and cups with you to yeah. help cut yeah. back on plastic. Yeah. We, we had to. to. We had to get <laughs> John Clark, our hair colourist. The lovely John. He's been colouring my hair for 10 years now. Yeah. It's amazing. So, yeah, he's we've he gone through different hair. phases. Yeah, he knows my hair and what's underneath. <laughs> Nobody else does. <laughs> But he does. <laughs> so his top tips for, or trends for 2020, shadow roots for blondes. If you're a lighter shade and quite fine, a shadow root for blondes, so you're creating a bit of a 3D effect. So mm. you're kind of putting darker so at the root. So a bit roots. darker at the root and yeah. going through lighter to the end. Creating a bit of depth to the right. root area. Yeah, he Both. said not such dark, bright copper, but more tangerine copper that look great with pale skin tones and blue eyes and things. So. Mm. Quite like the sound of that. Yeah, it sounds nice mm -hmm. actually. So there's some colour trends for you. His next trend, he sees that there's going to be more tangerine copper tones coming in, which I think is really interesting. Obviously, if you're in, you know, if you're in that industry and it's colour, it is always changing, isn't it? And there's yeah. always going to be dramatic hairdos that people go, oh wow, and you might not want to go full on tangerine copper, but there might be hues of it that work mm. its way down. Um, and then Alison, we've got from Bijou Jewels. Jewels. Yeah, Alison O'Reilly. She's one of the um, uh, jewellery guest experts on um, QVC. You might recognise her. She has so much knowledge. She's I could listen to her all day long talk about oh, the history of jewellery. She's so fantastic. Yeah. I mean, and clothes. she makes, she's got her own bespoke jewellery yeah. um, brand. So check her out for sure. Few possessions are as deeply personal and emotive as jewellery and a new decade is a brilliant time to invest in a bespoke fine piece in your budget, in, if your budget allows. I love that. Yeah, really so nice. It was really, you know, sometimes you think, oh, we wear too much, we wear costume jewellery all the time. It's actually you think, in years to come, who, what am I going to hand yeah. down to my niece or my children it's also it's about investing in mm. good like it's it's the same as fashion like what rather than yeah. going away for that going for like throw away fashion investing yeah. in pieces that are gonna last classic that will last that you love that you yeah. can be part of your you know your that style you sort of cherish yeah her second tip is um for a trend that sh sort of for 2020 is um Layering is still big news for 2020, but this time centering around a choker length, oh, interesting. chunky link chain for a masculine spin, adding multiple finer links to soften and customise your look. Like using jewellery to sort of add layers. To like change that. the look, yeah. isn't it? Changes it completely. Love that. Thank you very much, Alison. We've got the lovely Fiona Brackenbury, who is another guest presenter on QVC. Lots of you will um, recognise her. She's been the guest for Declior for, I don't know how many years, like over 20 years. Really? She knows her stuff yeah. when it comes to skin. They are experts. They are ex They are the people that I've been sitting there listening to for the last 15 yeah. years going, okay, I need to do that. Okay, I need to be doing this, I need to be doing that. They are the experts. So yeah, Fiona, if you have, don't follow already, go and check her out. And I love hers because she could have picked anything about, you know, expensive products yeah. or try this or try that. No, she just kept it like things that you can do, that anyone can do on any budget, I yeah. think, which is great. And her first one is double cleanse, which we should all really be doing. Yes. But she'd be using I always long wear cleanse. makeup. Yeah. And I love this next point because I'd never thought about I this. I didn't know. Making sure you use a cloth that's right for your skin type. And we mm. never, we no, never I agree. Like, oh my God, it makes so much yeah. sense. You might all think, oh, I'm going to go out and get a cotton flannel yeah. or, you know, just a normal um, flannel. But that could be too aggressive for your skin. She said, if you've got sensitive skins, then a microfiber cloth would be more suitable for your skin. So, that's so there we go. Too. And then her second one, again, super easy. Yeah. We can all do it. Spend, it says, massage your skin. 
60 seconds a day, which we can all do. We can all spare 60 Just seconds. Just make it part of your habit. Of yeah. In the morning, before, you know, after you brush your teeth, yeah. whatever. Massage brings oxygen. To, it makes so much sense, doesn't it? It, it brings does. oxygen to the skin and that's going to um, brighten the skin. Mm. It wakes you up, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. If you, like, bring the blood to the surface. Yeah. So, yeah, adding massage into yeah. your daily... That's a really good one. So, yeah, thank you very much, Fiona. They're ones that we can all do straight away. Yeah, they really? yeah exactly, and don't cost you anything, really. Um, next now, up. T next tip, Mark Hayes. Your Good boss. One. My boss. <laughs> <laughs> one of your bosses, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have um, a top tips been out no, here. Exactly. Because... How long have you known Mark? 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, he's oh, a legend. Oh, he is. <laughs> And I've learned so much from yeah. him over the years. I'm so sure so many people have. He's realistic. Yeah. He knows sort of what women um, are conscious of and what yeah. they want covering up. That's why he is a real expert in his field. Yeah. Um, but his top tip actually, which I really like, was to shop the high street. Yeah, he's a king of high street yeah. anyway. He, you guys, when you do your shopping for... You actually go on Oxford Street. We don't actually you? shop the sh high you street. You actually go on Oxford Street. We are in the shop. <laughs> actually, <laughs> which I love because you guys could just easily just order a load of stuff yeah. in, and I like that you guys go round yeah. and traipse round the shops and look and you check out the merchandising. All yeah. the time, and people are like, oh my god, you're actually uh, shopping. We're yeah, like, yeah, we actually shop. <laughs> I just think that's great because yeah, in this day and age, there's too many people like we're all doing online shopping. Online but shopping. you need to. But what is so street. nice about shopping the high street is mm. you're you're supporting your like you know you're supporting your local trades. Yeah. As it were, and people work there, so there's people, there's jobs, real jobs yeah. are going because we're not shopping the high street, and yeah, we are true. speaking. We get to know. We've become friends with these yeah, employees, and. It's devastating when those shops yeah, shut. You go? Mm. And you know, you can't you can't replicate that. And his other tip is to support independent brands. So yeah, again, up on the high street as well. Yeah, just think it's someone we know there's lots of those independent brands out there who mm. just don't have the money to yeah. sort of um advertise and it's just people are setting up businesses, so you're supporting Actually I think this day and age as well with Instagram, it's become a time when those brands have got the opportunity yes. to be seen. Oh, absolutely. How many think... times have you flicked through your stories and there's an advert and you're like, I've never heard of that, but I love yeah. their bags. You click on and you think, oh my gosh, I love them. Yeah, it's like Nell and Digby. Like yeah, there's just so many. Bags on there. All those sort of brands that are out there that they you... think it's their time for sure to be seen and not have to rely on a big department store stocking them for people yeah. to see them. And so, yeah. sort of, you know, every time you make that purchase, there's mm. somebody at home going, yeah, I got a sale. Sale. Yeah. Um, then we've got Ashling Rose. Yeah, another lovely um, fashion, fashion expert. Yeah, um, I've worked with Ashling yeah, you years have, ago you? back uh, on the sort of I think it was more GMTV days. Yeah. Really, she sort of stepped in and actually look on the Lorraine show as well. She would would she come in and cover? Mark as well? Yeah, when Mark been off, yeah, she's covered and. I just she's, remember she'd come in and I'd be like, oh, I like shoes. Where is she from? Oh, I like that. She's literally always asking her so where so stylish. <laughs> always. She's so stylish. I met her at, she's been guest presenting at QVC for quite a few years now. I love doing her shows. I love being a model on her shows. A, I'm like you, look at her go, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Like, I want to know where her shoes yeah. are. I want to know where everything. She's just so stylish. But she's so knowledgeable as well. Yeah. And well, she writes, be, yeah. doesn't she, for magazines? Yeah, and... she's so knowledgeable. We're, we're obviously girl yeah. crushing on Girl her. crushing <laughs> on Ashley. Actually, age is just a number, so don't dress your age. Dress your personality and attitude. Yeah. Um, I truly believe that what you wear, what we wear can have a huge impact on how we feel, both mentally and physically. Definitely. I love 100%, that. yeah. I definitely feel like I... Obviously, you know, like, when you're having a down day and you don't you just think oh actually i'm gonna wear something bright to cheer me up it's sort of dressing your mood yeah everyone will go oh, you look really great today yeah. she says she lives by the quote from iris apfel and um, you you have to look in the mirror and see yourself if it feels good then i know it's for me i don't dress to be stared at i dress for myself oh, i love that and um iris is it apfel is it yeah. apfel yeah She's amazing. She's in her 90s and she's the most stylish, cool, colourful, 
vibrant lady. She's awesome. And we just actually looked, yeah. watched a few clips of her on she's her Instagram. So cool. and we were yeah. like, oh, I love her so much. So she's definitely one to She's a good inspiration. And I can see why Ashleen has sort yeah. of used that quote because it's such a good quote to live by. Yeah. And then we've got a top tip from Sarah Tackle Ellis. I still call her Tackle because that's her maiden name. Oh, okay. But <laughs> it's Ellis. <laughs> um, from We Are Twin We Set. Are Twin Set. Now, me and Sarah have worked together yeah, again for, for 12, 13 years. She was Mark's assistant, then she went on and um, formed We Are Twin Set with Which Phyllis and Bloom. Yeah. Um, Bloom? Yeah. Did yeah. I say Boom? No, I think I said Bloom. <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> um, and she said, shop smart, don't try and follow all the trends, which I think actually is so true. Mm -hmm. You know, you see, and we said this sort of earlier, really. Yeah. Uh, if you see a look on someone that you think, oh, I really like that, I'm going to try it, but it won't suit me. Do you know what? Just ditch it. Just ditch it and enjoy <laughs> it on someone else. Oh, I like that shop smile. Yeah. That's a great tip. And then Otherwise, five... you'll always regret that you wore it. Well, yeah. You look back and why did I do that? Yeah. yeah. It didn't suit me. No, exactly. Um, find pieces you love and, have, um, and that fit well. Um, then they will see longevity in your wardrobe. Yeah. We're gonna to go to makeup. Makeup. We've got the lovely Charlotte Ribeiro. She has the best brows, in my opinion, hasn't she? She's so gorgeous. She's, she's a makeup, um, international makeup artist and colour um, consultant. Um, and her top tip, I love this one, and I feel like you get that from when you see her and how she does her makeup. Um, allow as much skin as possible to shine through. She says, don't makeup be, don't let makeup be a mask. True. And any other makeup, let that be the accent to your skin. Yeah. Her, Charlotte's other top tip for 2020 is um, she sees makeup being a bit more playful um, and bold colour being part of that. So that might be, you know, your skin's all nice and dewy and glowy and you might do a smoky eye, but you might mix it up with a little bit of a colourful flick. Thank you very much, Charlotte. So there we are. Yes. There are top tips from all of our experts for 2020. Have a look in the description box wherever you're watching this. Every single person's Instagram will be there. And hope that they, you know, if you go and look at them, they'll give you inspiration in yeah. the same way that they've inspired us. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. For those YouTube followers. And follow, uh, like, heart, share, share. Exactly. <laughs> We'll have it all. Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.